In a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and a sparkling river, lived a young artist named Eliza. She possessed a talent that seemed almost magical, her paintings were known to come alive with emotion and vividness, transporting anyone who gazed upon them to another world. Yet, Eliza was remarkably modest about her gift. The villagers adored her work. But Eliza remained humble and unassuming. She would spend her days tucked away in a cozy cottage, hidden amidst the lush foliage. Her art supplies were simple, a worn easel, a palette of well-loved colors, and a collection of brushes that had seen countless canvases. One morning, a traveling merchant passing through the village caught a glimpse of Eliza's paintings through the cottage window. Entranced by the sheer beauty of the scenes depicted, he knocked on her door, hoping to purchase a piece of her work. Eliza, ever the modest artist, hesitated at first. She was used to creating for the love of it, not for profit or recognition. However, seeing the merchant's genuine appreciation for her art, she agreed to sell him a small painting. Word of Eliza's mesmerizing art spread like wildfire. Soon, visitors from neighboring villages and towns flocked to see her creations. The humble artist became a local legend, and her cottage turned into a gallery filled with awe-inspiring paintings that captured the beauty of nature the depth of human emotion, and the enchantment of dreams. Despite the newfound attention, Eliza remained true to her modest ways. She continued to create from the heart, pouring her emotions onto each canvas. Visitors would often ask for the stories behind her paintings, but she would simply smile and say, I believe the stories are yours to discover. As her fame grew, so did invitations to art exhibitions and galleries in the grand cities beyond her village. Many art collectors offered substantial sums for her paintings, hoping to capitalize on her rising reputation. But Eliza, with her unwavering humility, declined most of these offers, choosing instead to share her work with her local community. One day, a renowned art critic arrived in the village, having heard the tales of Eliza's remarkable artistry. The critic was known for his sharp tongue and unrelenting critiques. As he wandered through Eliza's gallery, his expression shifted from skepticism to captivation. When he finally met the modest artist, he was taken aback by her unpretentious demeanor and genuine passion for her craft. After a long conversation, the critic expressed his desire to write an article about Eliza's art, which would surely bring her global recognition. Eliza hesitated, her modesty wrestling with the allure of wider acclaim. In the end, she agreed. But only under one condition, that the focus of the article would be on the power of art to connect souls and evoke emotions, rather than on her personal talents. The resulting article touched hearts across the world. Eliza's art was celebrated not just for its technical brilliance, but for its ability to stir the depths of human feelings. She became an advocate for using art as a means of bringing people together, bridging differences, and fostering understanding. Eliza's modesty and devotion to her art continued to be an inspiration for generations to come. Her legacy was not just in the beauty of her paintings, but in the way she lived her life, a true artist who remained grounded, dedicated to her craft, and always willing to share the magic of her creations with others.